Hello, Peter here. Today I'm going to show you how to make an operating system bootable from a USB drive. For this example I'm going to use Windows 10 and Ubuntu. Stay tuned for the steps. So, for the first step, get yourself an adequate USB drive. For Windows 10 you're going to need an 8GB stick. For some light versions of Linux you might need 2GB and for most uh, Linux versions you might need 4. Windows XP and Vista might need 4 as well. So this is an 8GB uh, stick. Okay, You can see that here. And go ahead and plug it inside your computer. For the second step, you're going to need to go on the internet. So open your browser. I'm going to show you how to download Windows and Linux as well. So let's go to download Windows. It's for free. The only fact is that you're going to have a watermark here if you don't activate it. So it went to my native uh, language page, but no problem. This is the English version. So, you need to click download to now. It's going to take a while, it's a small media creation tool. And the download might take up to an hour depending on your internet speed. Click yes. And wait for it to set up. Of course you can also download Windows 10 from other sites, but I do not recommend it. If Microsoft uh, give it, give it, uh, is giving it for free, why not profit of it? Like, why risk uh, getting yourself infected with malware from torrents? You need to accept the terms and conditions of uh, Microsoft. and click on create installation media so you can get your ISO disk and next select your language your windows version and your bit of the windows if you're not sure you can select both and click next and then be very careful to click ISO file. Okay? If you want to make the Windows bootable with my version, with my solution, you can also click USB flash drive and it's going to do everything automatically. But uh, it's for this purpose of my video, I'm going to click ISO file. And then next. Select where to put it, I'm going to say, I don't know, here, let's say, and it's going to download. I already have downloaded uh, Windows, so I'm not going to need this now. Yes, I want to abort. See, I have Windows here. Now let's show you how to download Linux. So you say Linux and I'm going to download Ubuntu. Okay. I'm going to go on Ubuntu.com. Download. And click Ubuntu desktop. Here. And now it's going to download. As well. I'm not going to download it because 
I already have it. See? That also worked. But I'm going to show you how to download the other versions as well. Like, let's say Linux Mint is uh, also popular. So go on the page, go on download, and select uh, the bit version that your computer supports. More, most of newer computers support the 64 bit. If your computer is newer than like 2007, 2010, it's going to be a 64 bit. And choose a close server to you, like for me. Yeah, for me it's Romania. So it started, okay? Um, I'm going to close this as well. And, and now that you have both Windows and Linux, you can do your stick. I'm going to use a tool called Rufus. And this is how it looks. Let's download it. So download the Rufus 3.6 or whatever version you're going to have when you're watching this video. Click yes. And it needs no installation. It just works. So select your USB drive and be very careful that any files on the disk are going to be erased, so make yourself a backup if you have important files in there. So click this scan image and here click select to select your uh, image that you want to burn. So let's start with Windows. Okay. Open. So standard Windows installation. Keep all the settings and just press start it's a warning in here that you're going to see everything would be destroyed on the, uh, your USB stick any files that you might have you can see it's already starting okay I'm going to cancel it. Okay, and now let's do the same thing with Ubuntu. So select, click on Ubuntu, leave everything as it is, and press start. Choose the recommended settings and click yes. Okay, so I'm going to cancel this as well. I'm going to show you a second method of making it with a ball with another program, Yumi. It's less now, but in my opinion, it's better. So, download Yumi. It's the same program as Rufus, but it has some added uh, functions. So click Agree, you have to close Rufus, select your uh, stick, select your distro version, so I'm going to go and select Windows 10 here, so select Windows 10 with boot MRG, select your Windows distro, and click Create. I'm going to cancel this as well. And let's select Ubuntu now.
The cool thing about this program is that if you have uh, something installed with Yumi on your USB drive, you can add another one. It's going to ask you. So if I, if I will have Windows installed on my USB drive, I could install uh, Ubuntu and Mint and Android and whatever you want besides it. And uh, when I'm going to the boot menu, it's going to ask me to choose between the versions that I want to install. So in case you have a like 64 gigabyte uh, flash drive, you can fill it with a lot of uh, versions of uh, different uh, operating systems and carry it, it with you. Rufus is going to only make one image for your stick. This is going to make a lot. And let me show you how it is going to look. So when you go into boot mode, see this list? It's going to ask you to select 